Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers uh, Legacy Evolution Armada Power Links uh, Hotshot. Um, I got this figure a while back, not too long ago. So, yeah. Um, another collection to add to the Armada shelf. I'm just missing Optimus Prime. He's getting here in August because I got him pre ordered at Big Bad Toy Store. So. Uh, that's like the estimated date. I don't know if it'll actually show up in August or because like, I never really pre I never pre-ordered stuff off of Big Bad. I've only pre-ordered stuff off of Hasbro. So, yeah. It's supposed to release in August, but it might release later. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see. Anyways, to the actual figure, it's just this, just painted better. Just painted in better colors. Also, mine's chipping. Sad. Um, so yeah, it's just painted cooler. I like this a lot better. I like the deco a lot more than the original. So, yeah. But mine has problems. Of course it does. It has to have problems because it's me. I fucking hate it. Okay. Uh, first off, like my original copy, legs fucking suck. I swear, like, all of my Armada toys have sucked so far. Except for Megatron. Because, uh, oh, fuck. Because Megatron has been the only one that hasn't sucked. Like, he's been the only one that's been in good quality. Uh, Starscream, of course, he, he's fucking everywhere. As I said in the short, he, uh, his legs, his whole ball, uh, mushroom peg, like, fly off. And it's actually coming off right now. <laughs> it's, like, in the middle of coming off. But, like, all of them, he's freaking loose. Not super loose, but, like, still loose. Um... His backpack does not like to peg in all the time. Like, one is either out. Okay, of course you're not doing it on the camera, of course. But one of them will stay out, and it's usually this one, because this one just doesn't like to stay in all the time. And if... Let's see. Okay, now, of course, it's not doing it for the freaking camera, but it does that for me. Uh, but yeah. That's uh, some issues with that, but that's okay. Overall, still pretty good. I love him. Uh, but we're going to start off with... Uh, I start off with the minicon. I start off with Jolt, all right. I start off with Jolt, uh, his minicon buddy in Armada. Uh, this is the this is a uh, like one of the two first minicons. I have the other minicon, which is um Whisper, I believe. So yeah, the yo the yokai. <laughs> uh, so I have Whisper, and this is my second minicon. I say this is a lot a lot better than that one, just by just transformation. So. Transformer, you unpeg the arms, flip the legs out, and untab them, and flip out the heels. I did not know it had heels, and because I did not transform, I did not look in the instructions. I already had it, so I was like, "So I'm pointing looking at the instructions," because I had already messed with it. It's fucking... Okay, pull out the heels, and then grab the whole torso, just flip it all down, and boom! There you go. You got a little jolt. He looks so cute. He's just a little guy. He's so cool. I like him. Uh, I like the head sculpt as well. And the little pe the eyes. Like the way eyes are. They just pops out. It's so cute. He's cool. I like him. He's very fun. And he can stand. Yippee. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, he can peg on to a hotshot power, power link. Um, it's just not good. So, in the show, he would power link with the butt. Like, it would tab onto the butt. Also, this looks super duper orange on camera. Like, regular orange. It's not. It's like a neon orange in uh, in real life. So, it looks like a crappy orange. It's not. It's actually pretty vibrant in real, and off camera. Uh, so, yeah, it's just my camera sucks. I'm using my phone because I've always been using my phone. But, yeah. Uh, the way the power link would be, be pegged on the arse right there. But it doesn't fit. So... <laughs> can't be pegged on the arse so what i do i just peg it up here to power link so yeah uh there, okay, there you go you see the back here on top but yeah he's nice articulation is is limited no head movement and i had to be bend at the elbow can't go back though 360 at the shoulder i can go in and out ball joints same thing with the legs in and out 360 but it does just get in the way because of the backpack his backpack, which is a propellers. Uh, over 90 degree bend at the knee because it it has to form in. And nothing else. So, yeah, he's pretty limited, but he's fun. 
what you're getting. I like him. He's adorable. Um, he's just a fun little toy. But on to the main event, of course, it's Hot Shot. The $55 that is spent, that you used to spend until they had the outlet. So, yeah, he's like $30, so I picked him up. So, Hot Shot. Eh, he's just the same as Hot Shot, but wor as my normal Hot Shot, but a little bit worse. Like, QC-wise. So, quality control-wise, so, yeah. Uh, but our accessories are... There's two guns. Actually, no, three. It's not coming out. Okay. You better stand this time. Okay. Three guns and two blast effects. Well, actually, no. Uh, six blast effects. Fuck you. Uh, so, six Jetfire blast effects. So, yeah. Look at that. Uh, blast effects are just the normal ones that came. I think I think it also came with Jetfire, but it also came with the Septicon 2 pack. Not the Septicon 2 pack. The dead Autobot 2 pack. So, yeah. I got two of them. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I really went through this in the subcom one, but yeah. Pretty spiky, pretty bendy, pretty rubbery. Uh, but to the actual guns, as uh, to compare this one with the original, I just spent like six minutes on the so much, but that's why I'm trying to briefly go through this. So the original, I just, this just looks so much more bland than the original. So I'm, I'm, I might probably end up painting just a little bit of silver on it, just to see how it looks. So, yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, and then, of course, we got these two rifles. Uh, I don't know if they're in the show, because I'm not up to the point where I think he, I, does he, I think he dies, and then he comes back. I think, I don't know. Again, I have not finished watching the show, so, yeah. I know Starstream dies, uh, but, yeah, I have not finished watching the show at all. Also, these can peg onto the back of Dead Hotshot, but, uh, he does not like sound, so I'm not going to be doing that and take up, like, 20 minutes. So, let's get to the actual figure and everything. So, I have not gone over this figure in like a good while, like a year. So, <laughs> like a year. Yeah, this channel is a year old. God damn, I gotta do a special for that. Uh, it's probably what I'll do for the, uh, the saw motion. But arms are on some mushroom peg, I think. <laughs> arms can go in and out. Bicep rotation, 90 degree bend at the elbow. No wrist rotation, waist rotation. Uh, 90 degree bend at the knee. A weird knee, but then it also shimmies down for transformation and a kind of accordion. Uh, uh, by uh, thigh rotation, hips I can go in and out, forward, back, and pivot and toe can go down. So, yeah, he got some good mind of action into him. Uh, and then of course, he also has the visor, fucking peg in, also has the visor flip. Uh, that's also super duper loose. Uh, it's just always loose on every copy, I'm guessing. Motherfuck! Stay on! God. Then we also got the tire cannon. Fuck, fuck you. Uh, so, the tire cannon, uh, of course, as well. So, when he power linked with Jolts in the show. So, there he is. Pretty nice uh, figure. I like him. Uh, but, uh, get just comparisons and the comparisons. Get just comparisons. I can't speak. Uh, I can't speak proper proper English. That was my first language, so. But let's get into some comparison uh, for the figures. So, yeah. First up, here we have them alongside the regular uh, Hot Shot, and of course there are some color differences. Of course, like the the, the metallic pieces are painted differently. This is more like a gold shade, and this is silver. Mine's chipping. So sad. Um, and then, of course, the, I think this is where the Ottawa emblem was on the actual, uh, C, uh, render, uh, animation render, so, yeah. And his, he his head is a little bit more glossier than the regular. And I think they changed the expression on him. Like, the face, like, the mouth expression, but everything about him is practically the same. They just use a glossier head, they just glossier paint. But, yeah, uh, of course, uh, thighs are black, uh... Uh, this area is black, I don't know, I can't talk. His crotch area is black, there you go. Uh, his arms are black, uh, so, he's just emo. <laughs> yeah. There they are, pretty nice, I like him, of course the visor's black, and I don't think it has the clear plastic anymore, which just sucks, because that's what I liked about this one, it's like clear plastic. They could have, of course, put, uh, sorry if I'm blowing into the microphone, oh, I'm so sorry. They could have at least put, um, some... Like a clear uh, tinted plastic, but they didn't, so uh, 
looking at. Sad, but it's okay. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Next up here we have the Siege uh, Optimus. Uh, this is replacing the Armada. As I said, it's not getting, it's not here yet. Uh, but they're practically almost practically the same height. Armada is a little bit shorter, but just to like just to give a reference. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then here we have Armada Starscream. Uh, his the heck is coming off. God damn it. Uh, so here Armada. Uh, stand, you motherfucker. Stand. Okay, you have them alongside Armada Starscream. Pretty cool. I think this Armada Starscream is the first ever Armada figure uh, to be released. I don't think the first uh, Unicorn Trilogy, because I think that was the Titan, the Metroplex. I think. I'm not too sure. I am a dumbass, so no, fuck, no, 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 I'm an idiot. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, there he is, alongside the Armada Starscream. He's still getting a review, it's just, I have not been wanting to do. I've been a little bit burnt out, so yeah from schoolwork, because I had a lot of state exams, but I'm back, so, uh, yeah, the, and then here we have him alongside the big bad Megatron, I want more Decepticons, uh, so, yeah, it's just two, like, I want more Armada Decepticons, I want Sideways, Sideways is cool, uh, and Cyclonus, I also want, wait, was it, no, Sideways was, I don't think Sideways was in season one yet, no, not season one, the, the regular. I don't think he was yet. I don't know, I have not. I think it's just a sideways. Wait, no, yeah, sideways wasn't it? The bike. I'm, a I'm an idiot. Uh, sideways, Cyclonus, uh, Demolisher, that'd be cool. I like the, I like Demolisher. Uh, of course, I'm talking about this, the, the talking about the, the characters that I've already seen. So, yeah. Um, and Scavenger, Scavenger would be cool. To see because he was a pretty good character. I liked him. Uh, so. Back to actual comparison. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a small Autobot, but that's okay. He's a big fucking Transformer. So, there they are. Now let's get into the transformation. I'll go briefly, but then, so, I'll just go briefly for that one. So, yeah. Now, the transformation on this guy is, uh, for the first time user. Uh, so, uh, cause I know I had a lot with this guy so, when I first got him. So, when I first, when I first got him, I mean when I first got the mold, when I first handled the mold. So, yeah, what you want to do, flip in the toes first, and then rotate the, uh, the bicep to where the 5mm holes are pointing towards torso. Rotate the waist, there we go. Untab the backpack, bring it up bring the torso out, and flip the head in, shimmy the, the whole entire back of the race car down, and sh and shimmy the, the spoiler pieces out. I am definitely getting that Cybertron Starscream, definitely, because that one looks, oh, I like it. Uh, so yeah, and then rotate the, this piece, the little windshield piece, and flip out the little bits up top. That's what you want to do. Accordion that down, and then oh, got to make sure the biceps are out of the way. The arms are out of the way, so move them down a little bit. And then rotate the thigh. They should make sure it's all collapsed in as perfect. And then tab it up to this panel up here. And then bring the arm back in. Uh, yeah. Arms back in because the door will have to tab into this little piece right here in the arm. So, yeah, do that, and boom, there you go. You got yourself one half. So, this in the other side, rotate, flip up, flip this little piece out, and then shimmy it and accordion it, and tab. Oh, fuck. Let's have the piece together. They just are very, very eh. Tap those together. Come on. Tap. Oh, there we go. Now, put the, get in. Okay, there we go. Now it's in. Tab the door in. And boom, there you go. You got yourself a uh, hot shot. Now, ooh. Oh, Deco. Deco looks so good. Uh, but we're going to have them all geared up and stuff, so, yeah. Uh, should I have them get on? into that so yeah. okay so basically to gear this guy up uh we're gonna grab his engine 
Luke's engine gun, of course, port it here. And now we're gonna grab one of these guns, port it onto the spoiler. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna gear him up. And we grab Jolt, uh, this, uh, for, I think it's this peg, we'll tab here, and then he'll be able to pull back. So basically, what you wanna do, untab the arms. Well, first off, get him into helicopter mode, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, what you wanna do is un just fold it down, not the actual this piece, but this whole section right here. So that's attached to the legs, this whole little area right here. Try and untab it. Boom, yeah. Try on tab it. it, just should look like that. And then clean it up with the arms tabbed. I think they tabbed, but shouldn't they tab them? Not the tabbing? Okay, there you go. The arms tabbed in, and then now grab his little section right here. It'll tab right here. And boom. There we go, I got him geared up. That looks pretty cool. I believe in one of the, sh uh, sh the shots, it, when they were face, when Sido was first appeared, uh, 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 the little uh, jolt grabbed onto him, power linked, and had him flying. So, yeah. Have him flying around, uh, shooting some Decepticons. Uh, flimsy ass blast effects. Then, put the blast effects in there. Put, put it in there. Also, these look so bland on camera. It's the same thing with, the, with Jolt. They look so much better. They look, they're like a red orange, basically, in real life. So. They do not look cheaply made. They're they're just like cheap, cheaply painted and cheaply. They just are like that on camera. But yeah, there it is. There it is. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. I like the I love the deco too. Oh my god. I just want everything like this. Ooh, that'd be cool if they did. Uh, uh I think they are Armada Optimus like that. But I don't think they will. There's look at. I don't think they will because it's an eight dollar toy. So I don't think they'll re repaint it. So, but that would be cool if someone on the internet did that, because that is a nice deco. Yeah, there he is. Now we're going to get to the alt mode comparison. The alt, the alt mode comparison. So, yeah. Let's get into that. Okay, get out of here. Okay, here I am alongside the, our, the regular Armada Hotshot. Uh, oh yeah, I painted this because to make it look accurate to the show. So... Yeah, and of course you can see the some differences about it. Of course, one of them is all red, so yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, you can see uh, some nice differences between them. Of course, the headlights are gold. Of course, he's all red. Uh, they kept the black on everything, so just changed the yellow. And the flames are missing on this one because the power lights took off. Uh, spoilers are the same. Well, the top spoilers are the same, so yeah. Pretty cool, I like him. So, yeah. Here we have him alongside the Siege Optimus, as I said, because this is uh, most accurate to like size to the Armada. Uh, I think the Armada one's a little longer though, because of the truck bed. So, because it's the arms of the, of the combined form, so it has to be a little longer. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good, not gonna lie. It's a nice little comparison between the two. So. Yeah. And then here we have them alongside Starscream. Uh, so, yeah. Hard to uh, make a uh, comparison between the two because one of them's a jet. But so I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'd say it's pretty good size. So, yeah. And of course, here we have the big bad Megatron. So. Yeah, he's about the size of his leg, <laughs> basically. So, yeah. But these two, just, uh, di di so, this one's so, it's just so good. I like him. Can't wait for the Optimus, because, oh my god, I don't think I'll be able to put him down, so. Can't wait. Hopefully, mine does not have QC issues, so, yeah. There they are. Let's get to the outro stuff. Uh, I'm going to eat a sandwich right now, so. Goodbye. Yeah, that was the review for Legacy Armada Power Links Universe. Uh, th no, that's not how you say it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, that has been the review for the Legacy Evolution Armada Universe Power Links Hotshot. 
yeah, I almost got it first try. So, yeah, that's been the review for Legacy Evolution Armada Universe Power Links Hotshot. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Have an amazing day. I'm gonna go eat that sandwich right now. So, bye-bye.